And good morning, Minecraft. This is Mr. Kassarian, and welcome back to my single-player Let's Play, episode number 70. Okay, guys, so what are we getting working on today? Well, a couple quick announcements. There we go. So, first of all... <clears throat> really, Enderman? You gonna die, buddy. Or not. A couple quick announcements, just to start us off. Uh, the first one is going to be that I want to talk to you guys about something. So we're hitting episode 70, and I have a couple more things I want to do, but not too many. And I wanted to know if you guys would be terribly out of sorts if I ended this season, coming up shortly, and switched over to doing some agrarian, mostly agrarian skies. Uh, my SMP collab with Nick, which is going to be changing up and actually tweet for a game for a little while which you guys may or may not have already been able to tell. Uh, I don't know if those episodes have will gone live by the time you see this. And so Agrarian Skies, the SMP with Nick, and just kind of maintaining those two for right now. Um, just, you know, <clears throat> whether, whether you guys want the series to continue. Because actually, if I look at my channel, this is actually the least watched series on my channel, believe it or not. So I just wanted to talk to you guys and see what you guys thought, and, you know, whatever. So the other thing is that I am going on vacation as of the 20th. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. So I just kind of wanted to see what you guys thought. Um, I'm going to be go leaving the 20th, coming back, I think it's like July 1st. And that'll be fun. I'll be in Scotland. Uh, it's going to be an awesome time. And I'm going to start crafting while I'm talking. And I'm going to be in Scotland. Uh, Scotland. Scotland. And no, I will not be seeing Scott Manley. I think he actually lives in California. I wish. I wish. Or seeing Slowpoke. That would be awesome. Um, Slowpoke seems like an awesome guy to meet on vacation. But, you know, the guy you meet in the bar. And he's just, like, always there no matter what time you show up. Yeah, that that's what I think of when I think of Slowpoke. All right, so we're going to get ourselves an auto-enchanter from MFR. And, uh, yeah, so things may get a little... Things may get a little bit weird. Um, do I seriously only have one diamond? <laughs> okay, I thought I had a quarry in the deep dark. Must not have reached that level yet. I left my server running for quite a while. Not my server, but my world running for quite a while the other day. So, I'm going to warn you guys that over the next couple weeks, I may miss a few videos. Um, it's kind of hard to get that many videos pulled together for coverage. No, I guess I didn't. Oh, jeez. He's running. It's just taking a bit of time. All right, so we're not down at diamond level yet. That's fine. That's fine. All right, so we can make some diamonds. That's no big deal. Oh, God, let's get out of here. <clears throat> I just wanted to make sure, you know, let you guys know, make sure you guys were aware of that before you uh, suddenly thought that, you know, my channel was going flaky and I was dead or in a ditch or something like that. So, yes, I will be away... Um, Oh, awesome. Okay. Yeah, I'll be I'll be in Scotland. Uh, don't worry about me. I'll be having an awesome time. I went there before, actually, and I absolutely loved it up there. And it's it's seriously it's an awesome country. It's it's just awesome. If you have the chance, totally go there on vacation. The people there are actually wicked friendly. Um, good food, good drink. You'll gain ten pounds. I swear to God, they fry friggin' everything. Like, seriously, if it exists, they probably fry it in a pan. They don't deep fat fry, like we do here in the States. You know, where you drop it into, like, a fry lighter? They pan fry. Pan fry. Pan fry everything. Oh my gosh. And haggis is delicious. Alright, if you don't like haggis, there's something wrong with you. Okay, I get it. I get it if you guys don't like, you know, what it's made of. But honestly, you don't. if you don't like what it's made of, you don't want to know about what's in your sausage. Alright? Let's let's just go there and say that you do not want to know what's in your sausage if you don't like haggis. Um, it is delicious. It is absolutely awesomely delicious. So let's. Let's do that. Yeah, it is. It is honestly some of the best food I've ever had. Um, of course, I'm a meat and potatoes guy, you know. One of the reasons why I used to weigh like 280 pounds. Not anymore. We like 250 now. 
The wonders of ADD medication. Okay, so that's going. We now have the diamonds we want. There we go. We can do our auto enchanter. And we're going to need a machine frame and a pair of books. Okay, that's not a big deal. So let's get a machine frame. And did I change up my books recipe? Huh. Let's check that now. Because I think I may be out of leather for this thing. And that's going to be... Yeah, I'm out of leather. And my book recipe... Uses leather. Okay. So there are a couple recipes for books that we can use. Alright. We have our standard vanilla recipe, which is the one I'm using right now. But we also have one from here that uses string. But they have plenty of string. So let's encode that. And then let's clear this recipe out. Shift right click to clear recipe, by the way. Put that back in, and we can chunk that thing back in. All right. And now, if I'm not mistaken... Oh, we don't know how to do patterns. Okay. Uh, let's teach our system how to do the patterns. Okay. get some oak wood, and let's get some sticks. Those are, those are both coated in. That's good. And remember, they're still derping out with the uh, machinery there, so let's encode that. Hit next, insert that into our machine. Alright, so we should have some books popping out at us. We do, we do, we do. We do, we do, we do. So let's go to our auto enchanter. Auto enchanter. All right, so we need a reception coil. Thank you. And then we need some... Oh, no, we can just do it like this. And like that. And that gets us our auto enchanter, courtesy OMFR. Nice. All right, so let's, let's put this thing down right there. Okay. Now, what we should see have happen here is, if we go get ourselves another book, we can set this thing back up. So let's get ourselves a book. Begin. And that should happen. Eventually. We now have a whopping three diamonds for a book. And what we're going to do... Three diamonds for a book. No, we have... Oh, gosh. That, that was terrifying. All right, thank you, Minecraft. So the problem is that I've been, because I've been playing other games and bunches of different games lately, um, my reaction, my Minecraft reactions are a little bit off now, where I'm kind of going, oh god, I'm gonna die. Wait, I'm not playing Agrarian Skies. What am I doing? All right, so let's throw that in there. Oh, oh gosh. Okay, we need to up this all the way up to 30. There we go. All right, so now it's not going to auto-enchant. All right, awesome. So that's done. That's done. All right, so we have to configure this thing now. Because we're no longer going to use liquid XP. I'm going to clear that, and that should pull into the network. Yes. Okay. So now we need to configure this thing properly. So let's get ourselves a bucket. Not the server install. We have already have two. Okay, no, no big deal there. Let's come over to here, and we have mob essence. We have 52 buckets of the stuff, which is actually pretty darn nice. Let's run over to here. Nope, wrong room. Let's run over to here. We'll tell this thing that west... I'm going to do that, and that should fill up. All right, and then we should have a fluiduct that should go right there. And do I have any servos on me? I don't think I do. And we're going to install this. Beautiful. And wrench it over. We should be getting mob essence. Oh, and it needs power. Uh, that's fun. Oh, I should have a power line in here, shouldn't I? And it actually it doesn't need all the enchanting crap around it, so. 
That's fine. I have to have a power line coming into this thing. I do. So let's get some conduit out. Conduit. How many... How far back does my chain go? Okay. Um... <clears throat> okay, so we'll have to craft that. So let's get some blank patterns. Oh gosh, what am I missing? Glass, okay. I thought I was missing iron again, and I'm like, oh god, no. No, 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 no. No more iron issues. Please, no more iron. Oh good, we have plenty of iron. Okay. Um, I'm like, I put that quarry out there for iron and diamonds. Why do I have none of those? Oh, gosh. So let's do that. Let's clear that. And what I want to do is, can I make hardened glass? Let's find out. No, I do not know how to make hardened glass. Can I make pulverized obsidian? I believe I can. Okay. So, I can then... Do I have an induction smelter hooked up to my crafting system? Transposer. I got one of those. What are you back here? Okay, good. You are what I thought you were. Okay. So, let's get ourselves... And now the problem is I have to get myself some obsidian. Two forty-eight. Do I have a pulverizer back here? A redstone furnace. But do I actually have a pulverizer? There's one. You're making sand. Okay. It's fine, I guess. This setup is dead. So let's play where's the power line. The power line's underneath this thing. Okay. So then, but I don't have any redstone energy conduit to do it with. Right. That's the whole problem with this build. Okay. Do I have any, do I really not have any conduit? No, I don't. Okay, so let's make ourselves just a little bit of conduit. Let's go upstairs and do that. All right, so apparently we're having a bit of a confusing day. So I want to get that auto enchanter working this episode. That's, that's the entire goal of this episode, is to get that one thing working. And so let's come back into here. We don't need a lot of it, so we're just going to do one thing of it. So let's do some Electrum. Let's do some Hardened Glass. Thank you. Let's do some... So that... I was going to stack a redstone out. Magma Crucible. So that... There we go. And that is literally all I needed. Thank you very much. Alright, so let's come back down here. I already have the other half of this, which is fine. Fine and dandy. Alright, so let's hook that to there. Alright. We just need to get ourselves another pulverizer. Right, right. So let's go pulv. Alright, so we need a reception coil. I did not want 64 of them. We'll use them eventually, I guess. Alright. I needed a machine frame. There we go. And I need a piston. And here we go. And that gets me a pulverizer. Okay. We'll put that right over there. Mm, that's going to be an issue. Alright, that's that's fine. Okay. 
Uh, slap. How am I gonna do this? Okay. Um, we're gonna have to arrange this a bit weirdly. It's okay. It wouldn't be Mono My Series if I wasn't shoehorning things in. So put that there. We're gonna get an import bus. Basic import bus, please. And then we're gonna get an interface, and we're just gonna hook that up. All right, and that over here, I'm assuming that's an induction smelter, because that's the only thing that makes sense back there. How's that import bus coming? I'm literally just about to use that precision import bus, because I don't care. I'm seriously just like, yeah, you can use that. No big deal. The problem is I can't really make the... Uh... Yeah, I can't really make an interface... Okay, no big deal. So let's get Obsidian. And we'll go back to our Pattern Encoder. Let's pulverize Obsidian. Okay. So I get four out of each one. Okay. Encode, please. Do I have anything weird hanging around in this network? I don't think I do. Okay. We're okay. We're okay. So let's come back over to here. And we're still waiting on bullshit. Excuse me. Wow. I'm having an interesting morning then. Okay, so let's come over to here. Let's do this. Let's do our other half. So hardened glass, which I need to check the recipe on, because it changes the amounts keep changing on me. And it's really actually getting kind of irritating. 8 obsidian, 1 lead is 2 hardened glass. Okay, that's not too bad. So let's get some hardened glass. Let's clear our inventory. Jeez. Uh, this can go into here. Here we go. That can go away. Oh, I had plenty of energy conduit. Look at that. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I am an idiot. Okay. So let's do that, let's do that, let's do that, let's do that, let's do that. Okay. So, we're going to tell this system that eight hardened glass and eight red... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight of that. And then I need a wee bit of lead. And one lead gets me one, two, three, nope, gets me two hardened glass in code. And then we want to tell it that a bit of silver, that one silver and one gold gets me electrum. All right, so one gold, one silver, gets me two electrum. Okay. Nope. Put that into here. Awesome. Yes, it is automation day. That is what we're doing today. All right, so do we have the import bus now? Really? What are you? What are you actually waiting on, buddy? Oh, I know what we're waiting on here. Okay. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yoink. 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 There we go. That, there's the problem. <clears throat> there was the problem. Um, yeah, we don't really have any other way of doing this. Okay, so let's just scrub that crafting for right now. I'll do that off camera, and just, I was forgetting that that's the way that that's working now. Alright, so let's just make sure that that's not still a pending crafting process. There we go. Okay, and now we can get ourselves that interface. Okay, interface, interface, interface. Let's get ourselves that import bus. Basic, Im basic import is all we need here. Yeah, it's like one piece of gold difference. It doesn't actually really matter. Alright, so we're going to break you. And we're going to hook you up like that. And as soon as that interface pops out, nice and quick, we're just going to flip him around. Um, 
nor contents, because it doesn't matter. So, one obsidian is for a pulverized obsidian, and we're going to tell this thing... Orange. There we go. So that's hooked up, and then all we need to tell this thing is, Electrum, hardened glass, we are in blocking mode. Awesome! So now we just need to tell it clear. We need to tell this thing how to make the actual energy conduits. Shouldn't be too hard. There we go. So now we're starting to finish automated for power. Perfect. Which I didn't need to do anyways because I had plenty of my inventory. But really? I need to fix that floor. I really do. That's like, really? I still didn't fix that? Okay. Alright, so let's let's turn our jetpack off right there. Because we can cross-connect like this, right? And I could be running in from the other room, but I just didn't feel like it. So we'll connect th that and that. And put that in there. And this thing actually does not need... Yeah, so see, work is filling up slowly but surely. This thing doesn't need um, books, bookshelves, unlike the other auto enchanter does. This one does not. Um, it's actually a little bit more efficient that way. So why don't we go down? I have another three minutes on this episode. Why don't we go down and let's take a quick look at what we're doing downstairs and how our mob spawner's working. Impact. Because I suspect it's turned off because it's back stuffed. Uh, so let's jump down here. Let's jump down. Right, I'm going to actually go downstairs. Right, so let's come down here. Let's come down. I see you down there. Here. Ow. You actually hurt now. You are backstuffed. You are holy crap backstuffed. Okay. So, huh. how am I going to do this? How am I going to do this? Well, next episode, we're going to take care of this issue. <clears throat> All right, there, there is an issue here. We can see that there is an issue here. Is there a bigger chest around here somewhere? I mean, this will help in the short term. Actually, you know what I can also do? Do I have another trash can? No. Okay, let's go back up. Let's run back upstairs, because here's what I'll do. Right, so we'll come over to here. We'll go upstairs. Right? Right. Okay, let's look for our Emmy net access. Let's make ourselves a trash can and get some item ducks out. Perfect. We only actually need, like, one. And then let's jump back downstairs. So what we can do is... Okay, so the resources we're getting out of this thing are nice. But it's not the real reason we have it, right? The real reason we have it is for that mob essence. So if I come down to here, right? And then I put... That there. I put that there. And I set it to dense mode. That's going to be the last thing that gets transited to. Holy crap, look at this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you can see what's happening, which is there was a lot of crap back stuff in there. But now that's turned on, they should all be dying off. Yes, and we should be getting mob essence coming out of here. Perfect. All right, and we're just gonna end up avoiding all the items that we can't store because it's a lot of items in there, including these order forms. We should add that to the. We should add those to the kill me list. See, God knows we're getting enough of the darn things. And then I can just say over here to add this thing in right there. Beautiful. We can throw that away as well. Okay, and I believe that ends the episode. So, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Mr. Kassarian. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, give me a comment, like, and subscription. Also, guys, um, part of my I'm running out of ideas here, tell me what you guys want to see. You know, if you guys let me know things you guys want me to see me do. Well, 
You guys want to me see me do. Yes, I, I English good. I English good. If you guys want to see me do something, let me know, and I'll do it. All right? So, this has been Mr. Kassarian, and as always, guys, happy mining.